Okay, we've got the bottom rail set on both sides. What we did, once this post was plumb, we actually had to take it off and trim a little bit off the bottom because we had a little too much gap there. So now what we're gonna do to cut the top rail is measure from the post to that picket and get just a diagonal, uh, you might as well, yep. And so we got about an inch and a quarter right there. And then we're gonna transpose that to the top rail. We'll go an inch and a quarter from the end of the hole mark it and then we're going to add another three quarters of an inch to that and then we're going to cut that out about a 35 degree angle the same direction on both ends of this rail so we'll go ahead and do that this is a little bit easier with a miter saw but it's not a big deal with this it's just a matter of setting your saw right. And the next thing we're going to do is get all of our balusters dropped in. We've pre-cut the tops of these balusters at the same angle. Because when you rack these in, the corner on a square will end up interfering inside the rail system. Just slide that in a little bit further than needed and then start dropping these pickets in and then slide it back out. And drop it into the bottom.